Good evening. People have talked about what have happened with Das Fark, about what's their next move, if that was the move they were planning. Other people are asking if the process is going to change or if the Uribismo accomplish or deliver the work of making the process fail. During the, the week, I mean the yesterday and today, I have seen in the social media that people have make the responsible the government exclusively but the truth is like I have seen in all the debates that a lot of journalists have put that is not on the government to blame not exclusively of course, the government has a lot of responsibility, but it's not the only actor to blame. For instance, we have seen the, the incapability to give orders to the the defense minister and the troops to occupy the the places that the guerrilla had abandoned. But not only in this government, but in the government of Sanchez, there was this problem. The other problem were and has been the incapability or the lack of will to put in effect the the part past the the signing of the of the courts the post conflict that is involved with a lot of reforms the respect of the special justice and let the organization and entities work but that hasn't happened or has happened with a lot of critics but not only in this part any institution has to be blamed. The other part is the accords in the sense in the sense of of the extradition. They were in the and there is in the in the accords the the agreement that if anyone has or had committed any crime it has to be or had to be investigated always by the the national deputy if the felony had been after the signing of the course if it is uh, but not only the deputy the special justice have to verify if the proofs are sustainable if the process were well done were due and if plus 
if the penalty was effectively committed after the signing of the courts. There were in the objections the objection of the extradition to make the Supreme Court the only one that could decide about this matter deliver in pro of the signing and verifying if the penalties would be after the or had been after the signing of the accords plus not to limit any solicitation of, of extradition but the congress wouldn't happen wouldn't have it saying that for instance when he targeted the uh, Gobertus that there were there were in need of this policy because in the course the um, the extradition were just in verification of the jurisdictions but after the verification consulting the proofs the person could be extradited but that didn't happen the supreme court just it verified that the crimes were committed after the signing of the courts but according to the courts Jesus Antwich didn't or couldn't be extradited because in the accords there were a prohibition of 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 this treatment if it was a felony of after the signing of the courts it would be judged by by the or ordinal or regular justice but it also could be uh, in charge of the by them special jurisdiction to to a penalty of 20 years of prison but it could it will be the person more likely will be still part of the of the special jurisdiction but the special ju jurisdiction as have the the autonomy of pulling the the beneficiaries out of the special justice jurisdiction. Furthermore, not only were the name of Sandridge in the in the states and in that video, in that video where El Paisa that didn't obey the courts and went out of the courts in the government of Santos. So anyone that could say that it was the responsibility of the government of Duque is mistaken because El Paisa organized La Incidencia to commit the same crimes that the guerrilla were committed with the financing of of the drug dealing.
that's why the other objection was to make the drug dealing not part of of the political felonies because that was the gasoline of the terrorists and still is furthermore if we are going to talk about responsibilities there were an objection that the party of of the government put in notice of the Congress about the decisions to immediately kick off the court the people that continue doing felonies or not obeying the courts. Like it happened with Ivan Marquez and all of the rest that were able to sit in the Congress but almost didn't win and start doing felonies and El Paisa that didn't stand by the courts. But if you check the special jurisdiction, they're still there. And the congressmen that were in the video still and still are receiving money each month salary congress salary and that's unjustified but people like the congress the green congressman and radical change congressman said that it wasn't necessary because if anyone was committing crimes, it will be, they will immediately be judged by the ordinary justice, but that's it. that doesn't happen. And the special jurisdiction is just starting if, if those people are going to be kicked out or not. So it's not responsibility of the of the government how their course are done and how they are regulated but that's not the excuse for the government actions because the government were obligated to make presence in the parts where or zones that the guerrilla left alone, but they didn't occupy the, those those places. Other point that I have to say is that the government has not been clear about the responsibility of a group killing social leaders but just saying or watching hands by saying that it's about a problem of of clothes or that the person didn't didn't have to be there but went there but that's not the problem the problem is that the state isn't acting in in those killings by stopping them rather it's not doing nothing yeah there, there are been operatives but recently but in the past and in on this government a lot of social leaders have been killed talking about the decisions the decisions are close are growing but 
like Ariel Davila said, the problem could be set, solved, but it need, it is needed that the government at least not do the the reforms that is needed, but sign the the decree about the zones by extending them, giving uh, money to the to the to the pro productive projects of of the uh, of the people that left arms so that the decent doesn't recruit them but doesn't ha haven't happened and the they are just being left alone to be recruited by the decents so that's not justifiable in in matter of the drug dealing like Ariel Davila and Claudia Lopez have said the the problem is not silly solved but at least the consumers don't need to be persecuted but actually help but help by professionals unlike in Europe is done to get help, professional help, and is if it is needed, be the liver of the personal process, so it, that they don't do anything against themselves and against others. Plus, the the crops planted by the farmers need to be ex extinguished by force or by the will of the farmers. But like Ariel Davila, Avila have said, it's not only about the courage or the force. It's in the need of the of, of the both of both policies because the legalization is not so easily done because it needs the 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 support of all the international organization and that have hasn't happened. Plus the Indians are protecting the those crops because they say it's a matter of of culture and respect of mother nature so the the military have had to make agreements with the Indians to extract just a part of the crops so they take resource to the units to the units commanders but only that other part is that in ways to to move on, the Venezuela problem has to be solved, but not by attacking the Venezuelans or responsible make them responsible of of taking jobs because the situation, the, the unemployment has been a problem yet before the Venezuelans came and the Colombia a lot of Colombians haven't hasn't have the will to work for the salaries that the Venezuelan work and a lot of times or normally is in both sides just and unjust and it's the same with the Colombians because now we are getting higher with a a contract a service contract that is for hours and without a schedule so so the
then the disc doesn't have to pay a lot of money. Other part, so the the Venezuela problem has to be solved, but with the help of the international so association by not uh, by helping the immigrants, not kicking them all or blaming them of anything because if the government continue asking for help for the leg letting legitimate president that cannot do anything then we'll still be in the problem the other solution would be a military intervention but that would be atrocious because the the Colombian Peronist groups will help Venezuela and there will be those groups those groups will be uh, para groups in the protection of, of of the Maduro regime plus Colombian needs uh, with Venezuela a tolerance policies where anything can be respectful but it it needs the the acceptance of every society not the hate not the intolerance for instance the gay community not to be attacked or woman that wants to be alone with its her children or wants to abort not to be judged because the, the decision is only her the family is not only constituted by a father and mother because and the adoption plus the adoption doesn't need to to be traditionally because with values and principles the kids will not uh, be pervert plus the, the requisites are too tough to anyone be taking advantage of those process to to hurt those kids in any way like by adopting them and making them sex slaves or beating them up or anything like that so the only recommendation is not to judge any government or any situation without seeing the whole picture. Thank you.